Hey everyone, welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. It's a little after 6 a.m. and it's already getting warm. Temperatures projected to go well into the 90s today, but you know what's weird? Water temperature is 56 degrees. And over the past several weeks, it's been in the high 60s. So we're gonna see how this is gonna affect fishing. Here comes Glenn. We're gonna split a scoop of live sardines for bait. But today, I'm also gonna try an experimental bait that I'm gonna reveal later when I get to the fishing grounds. But as you can see here, we have some decent sized sardines. First stop, Doheny Beach. At this point, I'd been trolling a live sardine behind my kayak for just a couple of minutes, and it just gets slammed. Now, as you know, halibut have to be at least 22 inches to keep, and I can tell just from looking at him, he's well under that, so I will be releasing this guy. Now, this was really strange. Just as we were leaving Doheny Beach on our way out to the main fishing grounds, this thick fog started to just roll in out of nowhere. It's for this reason I always recommend that you mark your landing and launching area as a waypoint on your fish finder. Because if this fog were to get any thicker to the point where I was no longer able to see the shoreline or any other landmarks, it'd be next to impossible for me to find my way back to Baby Beach. And that's an area I'm very familiar with. So mark those waypoints. Fortunately for us, this was very short lived. When the sun came out, it was like any other day, bright and sunny. Here I'm about two miles south of the harbor in one of my favorite spots. And I land the first of several half moon fish. Now they're called half moon because of their tails. If you look closely they're kind of shaped like a half moon but they're also known as blue perch and they are really good to eat and this guy's pretty thick check out the view under my kayak can't believe how clear the water was today if only i had my scuba gear by the way this was a spot where i'd flipped my kayak late last year or so my old Hobie Livewell is around here somewhere. As you can see, there's a lot of fish in this area. There's a Garibaldi right there. We saw a lot of bait fish swimming by. I've caught big calicos, sheephead in this very spot. You need to be careful when you fish this area. One thing to note, it's high tide right now and a lot of the structure right now is just below the surface. So if you're not familiar, you could easily run aground or destroy your mirage drive just trying to navigate around the spot. I'd also caution you from fishing this spot during high swells. I've been here when the swells were so high and frequent that I've come close to being pushed right into the rock. So once again, just be very careful here. So here's the experimental bait I mentioned at the beginning of this video. I know it looks like regular shrimp. The difference is I soaked this batch of shrimp in sea salt overnight. As you know, salt is a natural preservative and the effect on the shrimp was incredible. They became more dense, almost rubberized. So they stayed on the hook so much better. For those of you that have gone sheephead fishing with shrimp, you're familiar with how how great they are at stealing the bait right off of the hook. Generally, if I feel a nibble and I'm not able to set that hook, that shrimp is gone. With this salted shrimp, I'd have fish nibble at the bait three or four times and never losing the shrimp. In fact, I was able to set the hook at a much higher percentage compared to using fresh shrimp. So after casting out this salted shrimp, Eventually, I land a California sheephead. This one actually took three or four swipes at my bait before I actually landed him. If I had used fresh shrimp, 
it would have been gone. After catching that sheephead, I must have been on top of a school of perch because that's pretty much all I was able to catch all morning. This one here is a rubber lip perch. And right after that, I land another blue perch, also known as Half Moon. This one felt really big. Check out the fight he was putting up. But turns out it was just another half moon. And I thought I had foul hooked him, but he just, uh, I hooked him in the mouth. He just tangled himself up in the line and he just felt, actually he was pretty big. He was probably the biggest of the half moons I caught this day, but they're really fun to catch. And from what I hear, they're great eating. Here's a better look at this fish. You know, years ago when I used to do a lot of spearfishing, we'd see schools of these fish and opali down in the kelp where we'd go diving. Time to call it a day. As you can see, on my way back, I was able to go into shallower water, which is why it looks more green than blue. Here I'm in under 10 feet as I get closer to the beach here. But what was really odd is the water never really warmed up. It stayed in the high 50s and really strange because it was a hot day in Orange County. Here I'm making my final approach to Baby Beach. And once again, look at how packed the beach is. Well, it was a really productive day. I'm glad to see that the salted shrimp worked like a charm. I'm going to be using that more often when fishing for California sheephead. It's hard to believe we're already in August. Before you know it, the end of September, October will be here and it'll be time to go lobster diving. If you haven't done so yet, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.